Welcome to Healing Dialogues. I'm Irene Siegel, the co-director of CenterPoint, an integrated health and counseling center in Huntington, New York. Today's segment will focus on the medicine wheel, the work of the North. This is the third in a four segment series. We've been talking about how the medicine wheel is a tool for growth and healing and personal transformation. The shamans or healers around the world believe that throughout our lifetime we continuously circle the medicine wheel and as we go from direction to direction accessing the forces of nature, accessing the major archetypes that are related to nature, then we establish a relationship to spirit that leads to spiritual development and personal healing. So we've made our way so far through the South, which is about cleansing the past, releasing the ghosts of the past that stalk us. The West, which is the place of the spiritual warrior and spiritual initiation, where as we face our greatest fears, we learn there's nothing to fear, and we learn that we are already one with spirit. The North on the wheel is the place of spiritual mastery. It's where we really learn that we are in the world, but not of the world. On the Incan wheel, which is the wheel that we have been working with, the North is represented by the horse. And we ask that the horse take us to the crystal cave where the masters sit and let us sit among them so that we could not only be taught, but so that we could remember our own mastery. We are already masters. And this is something that's coming into our conscious awareness. So as we have taken that leap into spirit through the doorway of the West, we come to a place of stillness and inner peace. In our everyday world, we're, we're taught to access knowledge by learning through school. We go from one grade to the other in a very linear fashion. And what we learn one semester usually builds on what we've learned the semester before. And this is how we're used to, to learning. This is how we do learn on a physical level as, as physical human beings. In the non-ordinary realms, the work of the North is about accessing mastery by learning to be very, very still by learning to be in the moment. And in that moment, we realize that all there is, is the moment. So we're not taught this in our everyday world. We're not taught this in school. We're usually not taught this by our parents. Being still really requires some discipline to do that. Usually there's a lot of mental chatter for many of us. There, there's mental chatter and it's very hard to still the mind. So to learn to just be in the moment becomes quite a challenge. When we can do that, we realize that in that moment, nothing else exists except the experience of that moment. Fear for us usually exists when we either ruminate about the past or when we anticipate the future. But when we learn to just be really still and experience the moment, that's when great knowledge can come through. So if we come to the North and if we say to ourselves that there's something specific we want to learn, if we have an agenda, we can learn that. But if we come empty to the North and let ourselves just be taught, then what we can learn, what we can remember or activate within ourselves is far greater than what our conscious mind can think to learn. So what starts to happen for us in the North as we step out of our everyday world and we get very still in the moment and connect to spirit, we start to shift our experience of ourselves. In our everyday world, we usually define ourselves by the roles that we carry. So we can be husbands or wives, mothers, daughters, sons, fathers, we can be teachers or counselors or construction workers or whatever our job is. It starts to define who we are. And our reference point becomes those roles that we take on in our world. But in the North, the reference point becomes the soul. And when we shift our reference point to our soul, 
it changes everything in our everyday reality. So we start to learn that we're not just a being with a spirit, but we're a spirit in physical form. Now, one of my teachers once said to me that when you really understand the work of the North, you realize all there is is the North. And what that means is, although we can't really know what that means until we have the experience, but when we start to really experience ourselves as multidimensional spiritual beings, we realize that, that that infiltrates everything, that that fills out who we are. And our reference point then is, is that who we are in terms of our connection to spirit. So to be in the North is a great challenge. I know my... my Students have said to me at times that they look forward to the North. They find it to be a place of great peace. And others have said to me, well, you know, I can't stop the mental chatter. You know, it's very hard to be in the North. It can be quite a challenge to learn how to be still and to access that awareness. So knowledge isn't something that we're taught in the North. Knowledge is about activating a part of ourselves that begins to remember that we are spiritual beings. And as we access that awareness of ourselves, it changes our process in our everyday world and it changes the path that we're on in terms of our personal healing work. So as a, as a therapist, I've been doing psychotherapy for a very long time and I've done talk therapy and I utilize other tools, guided imagery, meditation tools in psychotherapy. But when I see that my clients do the healing work along with meditation practices, along with accessing that higher knowing of who they are multidimensionally, then it changes the entire healing process. So it's very hard to describe the experience of the North because there are no words for it. We don't have words in our everyday language to express that experience. Now, maybe other cultures or other traditions might, but in our technological society, in our present-day culture, this isn't a part of our everyday world. We're in a culture that's very future-oriented, very goal-oriented. We're always achieving. We're always growing. We're always advancing. And... That can be very, very positive. But in terms of being still, we're often taught that if we're still, it means we're being unproductive. Whereas, in fact, when we can get really still, so much can come through us that starts to help us create in our world from a soul level rather than the level of the personality. So, although the North is very hard to understand, it's through our experience that we begin to understand it. The Mayans have talked about this period of time that we're in now. If, if you have ever read um, the Mayan calendar, there's a book called The Mayan Factor by Jose Argelis. And he talks about the Mayan calendar, how the Mayans devised a calendar over 2,000 years ago where they talked about periods of time on the planet and how the planet will evolve during those periods of time. And looking back over 2,000 years, they were right on target in terms of how we have evolved. They talk about this period of time, the years from the year, two th from the year 1992 through 2012, as being a time of spiritual awakening and realization, leading us into a golden age where we start to remember ourselves as being multidimensional. Now, this is happening spontaneously. Those of you watching this, if you think about even over the last couple of years, how you have changed and grown in terms of your spiritual awareness, your spiritual belief system, notice what has changed for you. So it, it's happening spontaneously. But when you can bring this awareness into your healing process, when you can bring this awareness into a spiritual discipline, then it takes you to an even higher level within yourselves. 
So the only way you can start to understand the work of the North is through experience. And I'm going to provide a brief experience here today so that you can start to try to understand what this work is about. In the previous segments, I have used the drum to lead into meditation because the drum quickly accesses um, endorphins in the brain, releases endorphins in the brain that allow us to get into an altered state easily. But in the north, I don't use the drum. The drum connects us very much to the earth. And the north is the place on the wheel of the Zen master. It's where we learn to be in the world, but not of the world. We learn to climb up the mountain into those inner spaces and to stay there. So I'm going to take you through a breathing exercise as well as a brief meditation that will help you begin to explore those spaces and will help you begin to understand what it means to be still. If you find that during this experience your mind starts to chatter, let yourself just go back to your breath. Just listen to your breath and to my voice and see if you could just relax that mental chatter. Often it could take some experience to get to that place. But let's see how far we can get today in just finding that inner calmness and beginning to journey into the north on the medicine wheel. It's the place on the wheel of higher mastery where we access the mastery that is within ourselves and we just reveal that to our conscious mind. So we're going to start with a breathing exercise that we have done in our previous segments which is inhaling through your nose and bringing the breath right into your belly. And from your belly you're going to lift the breath into your lungs and hold your lungs full for as long as you can. And then very, very slowly exhale through your mouth and hold your lungs empty for as long as you can. And then we're going to take another breath. So I'm going to take you through this three times. You can do this with your eyes open or your eyes closed. So start by inhaling through your nose, into your belly, and moving that breath up to your lungs, holding it, and slowly releasing it through your mouth, holding your lungs empty, Taking a second breath in through your nose, into your belly, bringing the breath up to your lungs and holding it. Slowly releasing it through your mouth, holding your lungs empty. And do this a third time, silently, breathing in through your nose. And as you go through the exercise, notice how your body relaxes totally and completely. How all your muscles relax and all your stress is released totally and completely. Good. Now, close your eyes as I take you through meditation of the north. I want you to imagine a root like the root of a tree reaching down from the base of your spine into the earth. And along that root, pull up the earth energy as a silver beam of light up the root and into the spine up your spine and into your heart. And from your heart, send that silver light out to every cell of the body. 
every cell of the body. And up above, imagine a beautiful golden star. And this star is you, your higher self, the part of you that connects to spirit. And there's a beam of light coming down from that star, down in through the top of your head and into your heart. And from your heart, send that golden light out to every cell of the body. Every cell of the body. Now with all of your awareness, follow that golden light back to its source, back into that star, bringing all of your awareness into that star. And feel your consciousness expanding larger and larger and larger and larger as that star expands larger and larger. And feel yourself beginning to lift higher and higher as you become lighter and lighter. Higher and higher and lighter and lighter through the stars until you see out before you a beautiful temple of light. And as you approach this temple of light, there's a master teacher waiting for you at the gateway. Follow this teacher into the temple. And notice all of your senses working. Look around. Smell the air. Listen for sounds. Notice the gathering of your brothers and sisters of light as they support you on your journey. And the master teacher leads you before an altar and sits before you facing each other. And notice your breath. Notice as your breath and that of your teachers become one. One breath. Notice your heartbeat. And notice how your heartbeat becomes one with that of your teacher. One heartbeat. And notice your energy field, the energy that circulates around your body. And notice how your energy field begins to blend with that of your teacher. Holding open an even higher spiritual frequency for you to attune to. Notice as the two of you are bathed in light. And as you stay in that experience, just open your heart to that experience. And remember yourself through that experience. And remember this part of you, the part of you that exists in spirit, the part of you that is already a master.
And bring your awareness back to your breath. Back to your heartbeat. And notice as you begin to disengage from the energy of your master, teacher. But notice what has changed in your own energy field. Notice what has changed in your own awareness of yourself. And know that you could return to these places and these spaces at any time that you choose. So honoring this master teacher, begin to follow this teacher back through the temple. Back to the gate. And begin your journey back. Coming back down through the stars. Gently coming down. Gently coming down. Bringing your awareness back down. Bringing your energy back down in through the top of your head and into your heart. And from your heart, send that light and that energy out to every cell of the body, activating every cell of the body, remembering in every cell of the body. And extend your light down the base of your spine and deep into the earth, anchoring your light deep into the earth. And bringing your awareness back to your physical body, feeling the energy circulating like rivers of light throughout your body. And bringing your awareness back into your present moment in your everyday world. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And notice what feels different. Notice how still you were able to become. And notice the potential for healing that exists in those spaces. These are the spaces of true healing. So for those of you that are already in a healing process, whether with a medical doctor or a therapist or a, or a nutritionist or an integrated center such as Centerpoint, whatever your process is, know that in these spaces you can access a level of healing and inner peace that can't be accessed differently. As we remember our mastery and we bring that mastery into our everyday world, we are empowered in our world to create it however we choose to create it. We're empowered to work with our own health issues or emotional issues or spiritual issues in a deeper way. So for those of you that are interested in pursuing this kind of work, is this your work? Is this your next step? And as you learn to circle the medicine wheel, you learn how this level of mastery is woven together with your journey of personal healing. And the higher you go within yourself to access these, these higher spaces, spaces of spiritual awareness, then the deeper the work becomes in terms of the issues of the personality related to emotions, related to health, relationship, finances, your creative process. So notice how your experience begins to unfold for you. And 
and I would like to thank you for joining me on this journey. In our next segment, our fourth segment in this series of four, we'll be working with the direction of the East, the place of creation and manifestation, where we learn how we take everything we've learned around the wheel and we bring it into our everyday world to create, not from the place of our personality, but from the reference point of our soul. So thank you for joining me today. And I wish you well on your own healing journey. I'm Irene Siegel, co-director for CenterPoint Integrated Health and Counseling. And I look forward to seeing you next time.